I know you are bullish JPY, as are a lot of other people. What exactly are you expecting Ueda to do uh, with monetary policy? Is it going to be tweaking around the edges again, or is it going to be wholesale abandonment of, uh, of uh, yield curve control? Look, I think it's the latter, the abandonment, but not just yet in April. I mean, April in some way sets the scene. You know, there's a bit of a nod towards, the, um, uh, you know, market dysfunction, costs of YCC and other unconventional policy. But, I mean, certainly there's no pressure on them to go particularly soon. You know, that, that period of JGB yields and the 10-year yield pushing up above the, uh, pushing up against the 50-bit ceiling is obviously gone with global uh, bond markets um, uh, rallying quite a bit. Um, so there's no real near-term pressure. But I think as, as Q2 rolls on, you know, you get to that June meeting, I mean, paradoxically, maybe that's... Um, that that's a great opportunity for the Bank of Japan to step away because they're not going to be pushed into it. There's not going to be a lot of sport speculators shorting uh, yeah, uh, Japanese bonds, which, of course, makes the Bank of Japan kind of reluctant to give in and, and let the speculators win. So maybe they can quietly step away uh, later in, in Q2 um, and, and just kind of reset, right? I mean, they've got the, this inflation pulse in Japan, and we saw the Tokyo data on Friday. This in, on Friday, this inflation pulse is quite strong, you know, on a three-month basis, it's up at four, four and a half percent. It's not radically different to US and Europe, but their monetary policy still is radically different. So I think that gap needs to close a bit as the year goes on. Uh, but, you know, it's not just, well, you know, they get rid of YCC, the JGB yield goes up a little bit. You could say, well, big deal, the rate spread's still huge. Uh, what I'd say is if they step away, this persistent bid for JGBs, this persistent QE when the rest of the world is doing QT, that goes away. So I think that's what's going to matter more for yen. The Bank of Japan just stepping back from this persistent large buying of JGBs we've seen for years now. 132.20, what's your target for uh, dollar yen? We've got 120 by the end of the year, 125 mid-year. Uh, admittedly, that okay. sounds a big, uh, a big move and clients kind of a surprise when I say that, but I point out that, you know, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't that long ago we were sub-120. And in fact, through RB Norm's QQE, 100 to 120 was more or less the range. So uh, it's, it's not crazy by, by historic standards by, uh, by any stretch. Hi, I'm Emily Tan, and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.